Ever wondered how the goods and services tax or GST has impacted the fast-moving consumer goods sector in India? This is a question that has intrigued economists and industry insiders alike. To answer this, let's first understand the context. The FMCG sector in India is a vital contributor to the economy, divided into four main categories, food and beverages, household, personal care, and health care. Now, in 2017, the Indian government rolled out the Goods and Services Tax, a unified tax regime that replaced multiple indirect taxes. This new taxation system has had a significant influence on FMCG companies, impacting everything from pricing to operational aspects. Some companies experienced higher tax rates while others benefited from reduced rates. But the story doesn't end there. The implementation of GST also brought about a shift in online purchasing, opening up new distribution channels for FMCG products. In this video, we will delve deeper into how GST has revolutionized the FMCG sector in India. One of the significant impacts of GST on the FMCG sector has been on the pricing of products. Let's delve into how the introduction of the goods and services tax has led to a revision of tax rates on various FMCG products, effectively altering their prices. Take for instance everyday items like toothpaste, hair oil, and soaps. Prior to the implementation of GST, these products were taxed at rates between 22 and 24 percent. With the advent of GST, these tax rates have come down to 18 percent. This reduction has made these items more affordable, potentially leading to an increase in their consumption. However, it's not all about reductions and affordability. Some FMCG products have seen a rise in their tax rates post-GST. Products like detergents, butter, ghee, cheese, shampoo, and skincare, previously taxed at lower rates now fall under higher tax brackets. This increase has inevitably led to a hike in their prices, which can impact consumer buying behavior. It's important to note that these changes in tax rates have been brought about with the aim of simplifying the tax regime, making it more uniform and reducing the cascading effect of tax on tax. By categorizing goods and services under specific tax slabs, the GST system has been able to streamline the taxing process, albeit with mixed effects on the pricing of FMCG products. In essence, the GST has brought about a significant shakeup in the FMCG sector, affecting the pricing structure of a wide range of products. While some products have become more affordable due to reduced tax rates, others have become pricier due to increased taxes. Thus, GST has had a mixed effect on the pricing of FMCG products, reducing rates for some while increasing for others. As we continue to navigate the GST era, these changes in price dynamics will continue to play a crucial role in shaping consumer preferences and market trends in the FMCG sector. Another crucial aspect that GST has influenced is the supply chain efficiency within the FMCG sector. One of the key objectives of GST was to streamline the tax structure, thereby simplifying the supply chain operations. Before GST, the FMCG sector was plagued by multiple indirect taxes such as excise duty, VAT, and service tax, each with its own compliance requirements and rates. This not only complicated the tax structure but also hampered the smooth functioning of supply chains. However, with the introduction of GST, these multiple taxes were subsumed into a single tax. This greatly simplified the tax structure and led to a significant improvement in supply chain efficiency. By eliminating the cascading effect of taxes, GST has made interstate movement of goods faster and less expensive. Moreover, GST has also led to potential cost savings in logistics and distribution. Prior to GST, companies had to maintain multiple warehouses across states to avoid the central sales tax on interstate movement of goods. But with the advent of GST, companies can now consolidate their warehouses, leading to significant cost savings in logistics and distribution. Additionally, the total distribution cost in the FMCG industry, which was previously between 2 and 7 percent, is expected to fall to 1.5 percent post-GST. This is a significant reduction, which can lead to lower prices for consumers and higher profit margins for companies. The implementation of GST has also brought about uniformity in tax rates and regulations across states, further enhancing supply chain efficiency. Now, companies can plan their supply chains based on demand and operational efficiency, rather than tax considerations. In conclusion, 
GST has not only streamlined the tax structure but also led to significant improvements in supply chain efficiency within the FMCG sector. By eliminating multiple indirect taxes and reducing the distribution cost, GST has simplified the supply chain operations, leading to cost savings and improved operational efficiency. The implementation of GST has indeed simplified the supply chain operations for FMCG companies. The operational aspects within the FMCG sector have also been significantly influenced by GST. With the introduction of GST, companies have had to reassess their operational strategies, particularly in terms of pricing. The revised tax rates have prompted many businesses to adjust their product prices accordingly. This has been a complex process as each product category has been affected differently by the new tax regime. However, these changes have also opened up opportunities for companies to optimize their pricing strategies, potentially leading to increased profitability. Not only have prices been affected, but operational costs have also seen a transformation. The unified tax structure has reduced the burden of multiple taxes, leading to a decrease in production costs for factories. This cost reduction has been a boon for manufacturers, allowing them to produce more at a lower cost. It has also encouraged companies to invest more in production, which could lead to increased employment and economic growth in the long run. Another key area of impact has been the distribution of goods. In the pre-GST era, the complex tax structure often led to high transportation costs. But with the simplification brought by GST, these costs have been significantly reduced. Distributors can now transport goods across state lines without having to worry about varying tax rates. This has not only reduced costs for distributors, but has also made the supply chain more efficient. And lastly, the consumers, the most critical part of the FMCG sector. With the reduction in tax rates for many products and the decrease in operational costs for companies, consumers are now able to buy their favorite products at lower prices. This price reduction has increased the purchasing power of consumers, leading to a boost in the demand for FMCG products. Clearly, the operational aspects within the FMCG sector have seen a major shift with the advent of GST. As we've seen, the impact of GST on the FMCG sector in India is multifaceted. The implementation of this tax system has ushered in a new era for the industry, making waves in pricing, supply chain efficiency, and operational aspects. Firstly, the introduction of GST has led to a revision of tax rates on various FMCG products. Everyday items such as toothpaste, hair oil, and soap saw their tax rates drop from 22 to 24% down to 18%. On the flip side, products like detergents, butter, ghee, cheese, shampoo, and skincare experienced a hike in tax rates. This shift in rates has not only affected the profit margins for companies but also influenced the prices consumers pay at the checkout counter. Next, we discussed how GST has enhanced supply chain efficiency. By eliminating multiple indirect taxes, the new tax regime has simplified the logistics and distribution process, leading to cost savings. The total distribution cost in the FMCG industry, which was previously between 2 to 7 percent, might fall to 1.5 percent post-GST. This streamlined process has the potential to increase operational efficiency and promote smoother business operations. We also touched upon the changes in operational aspects due to GST. Companies in the FMCG sector had to revise their rates and prices in response to the new tax system. This has had cascading benefits for factories by reducing costs, distributors by lowering transportation costs, and consumers by offering products at lower prices. However, while the GST has brought about these positive changes, it has also posed new challenges. Companies are grappling with compliance burdens, changes in tax regulations, and cash flow delays. Navigating these challenges requires adaptability and a keen understanding of the new tax landscape. In conclusion, the GST has significantly reshaped the FMCG sector in India. Despite the challenges, the overall impact seems to be a positive step towards a more streamlined and efficient FMCG industry. It has the potential to enhance the competitiveness of this sector, both domestically and globally, by simplifying the tax structure and reducing costs across the supply chain. While GST has brought about significant changes in the FMCG sector, it has also posed new challenges. 
However, the overall impact seems to be a positive step towards a more streamlined and efficient FMCG industry. Thank you for watching, and keep tuning in for more insightful discussions.